there is a common perception that Western medicine is science-based, right? Evidence-based is kind of the primary term. Uh, there are websites on science-based medicine that are focused on um, showing what kind of scientific research is missing for things outside of traditional Western approach. Um, and that natural medicine is generally some degree of folk superstitions with maybe a little bit that has science and a little bit that is like a hocus pocus stuff. And uh, I think that's actually fair oftentimes when we come to, I mean, there's obviously an assumption that if something is natural, it's good for you that some people have that is very unsophisticated. Um, and if something's synthetic, it's bad for you that's oversimplified. And uh, muscle testing is very different diagnostic method than actually running labs. But what I'm wanting to bring about is that, <clears throat> what I'm wanting you to get into here is that um, a naturally oriented medicine doesn't mean not high tech. And it doesn't mean not high science. It means that it's science trying to understand what the nature of physiology is normally doing rather than just saying, how do we override one very small part of it? But to just speak to that for a minute, because when you say there's a divine intelligence, mm -hmm. right, that can also kind of speak to the like, oh, so are you doing prayer healing? Um, <laughs> so a little bit more, does, is theism required? Is any particular other than rational belief system required? And is what you're doing uh, drawing upon the sciences? I love this question, and I wish we had all night to talk about it because there's so many different directions we could go there. So I'll just take the theism first. No, absolutely not. There's no religion in here. It is, for me, maybe you could classify it as a religion, but there is a certainty within me. It is, an, it is my truth with a capital T that every human body is capable of healing. So I start every interaction with any person, whether they're a patient or not, under the assumption that they can heal and that whatever stands in their way can be moved. Um, does that answer the, the God question? So when you say a divine intelligence, mm -hmm. what you mean by that, and I would say maybe in a, if I'm going to translate it into a closer to science language, mm -hmm. is that this is a self-organizing system that has very complex regulatory mechanisms that evolve to regulate well. Yes. And if they're not regulating well, there's probably some problem in the way that if you identify it and clear it, it's it actually evolved to regulate well. Precisely. You know, and I don't know the details of human evolution. That's not my area of expertise. But <clears throat> exactly. You know, we came out of a system that the earth, right? We are, we're here on earth and things like sea salt, like we're understanding more and more and more how sea salt is uh, created in these perfect ratios of these micronutrients that we need. And you know, we were created on earth where the sea salt exists. And instead of taking a bunch of calcium and magnesium, maybe it makes more sense to get some sea salt and that our blood pressure will be better regulated, that our adrenals will be be better, better regulated, excuse me, that all of these things might run a little better if they um, are supported in a natural system. Now, going back in a natural way um, that's in alignment with the, the way we evolved. Yeah. Now, to watch the full episode or to subscribe to the podcast, click the link in the description or visit us at neurohacker.com slash collective insights. <laughs>